Hello everyone and welcome back to the 3D Fashion Solutions channel. My name is Afsha and today I'm going to be walking you through the process of adding your own custom zipper pull tab to a smart zipper in Browser vStitcher. Smart zippers are really useful when you want to style your garment in multiple ways. It can be fully zipped, fully unzipped, or partially zipped without having to undo any stitching. Adding your own custom zipper pull tab allows you to fully customize your garment while keeping the zipper fully functional. Let's jump into this really simple and quick tutorial. So here I've applied a zipper to a really basic garment. You can even apply it to a rectangle while you're exporting out the zipper head. And I'm gonna export it as an OBJ file. And don't include the avatar, keep everything very simple. And then when it exports out, it will give you the OBJ file with the materials. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Blender where I have my custom zipper pull. And I'm gonna do file import OBJ. So what that's gonna do is import in that whole garment that I had. And I'm going to just set the object's origin to the geometry. And what I want to do now is put this into edit mode by hitting tab, select all with A, and do mesh separate by loose parts. And then I'm going to go back into object mode and delete all the parts that I don't need, like the garment and the zipper tape. And we also want to get rid of that zipper pull that's currently on the slider right now. So all of these pieces are in, you know, in separate little parts. So I want to make sure I delete every little one. So I'm looking at it from all the views and making sure to get rid of the pieces that I don't need. Then I'm just looking at it from all sides to make sure I didn't delete anything I shouldn't have. I'm selecting all of the pieces now and doing Control J to join them. And now I'm gonna make sure I bring that over. I have to fix the object origin again. And then I'm just bringing it over to be able to merge that with my new pull. And I'm just looking at it from all views to make sure it's lined up correctly. Right now the head is a little bit crooked, so we want to fix that. Once that complete, I'm going to select both objects and merge them. By selecting both and saying Control J to join. And then I'm just going to get rid of any materials that I don't need. Now I can select the object, go to File, Export, and we're exporting it as an FBX. Make sure you have selected objects selected. Now we can go back to vStitcher. And I'm going to go look inside the zipper. And on the puller, I'm going to say Replace. And I'm going to go to that location where I have the custom zipper pull. And then you just need to adjust the orientation of the object. And I'm going to hit dress to bring it back into 3D view. And it looks a little bit small right now, so I'm just going to adjust the geometry in vStitcher. And there you have your custom zipper pull now added and it will work as a smart zipper so then you can go in and adjust the color as needed as well
And that's the end of the tutorial. I really hope that these steps will help you take your 3D garments to the next level. And remember, 3D Fashion Solutions is here to help you through your brand's digital product development journey. Please visit 3dfashionsolutions.com to see some of the services that we offer and schedule a free consultation meeting. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.